So, hello Sebastian. Explain to us this unexpected return to GT racing. To what do we owe the pleasure? It's not really a comeback, it's more of a return to where it all began rather than a return to GT France. My last race in the FFSA Super Series was in 1999. I haven't had the chance to race in this series for a long time. I've got a long-standing relationship with Jack Leconte and Labra competition because it was with him that I raced my first 24 hours of Le Mans. We then raced at Spa and Sebring. We're friends. There was an opportunity to compete alongside Roland Berville. And as I'm between projects, the chance to maintain the racing rhythm was an interesting opportunity for me. An arrival which was much commented upon, with some seeing his presence as designed to help the groppy Bornhauser duo in their title battle. Charges Sebastian Bourdet defends himself against, saying we're not here to play the party crashes. However, as soon as my Toro Rosso adventure came to an end, I got back in contact with Jack. Well, we've never really lost contact. It was my way of telling him, if you've got a drive for me, then I'm interested. The worst thing for a driver is to be inactive. The opportunity came up, I took it, it's as simple as that. It's ten years since I last raced here, so I'm rediscovering the circuit. We're racing blind in a sense, it's an enclosed car, it's never easy. I needed to get used to the car because every GT car has its own distinctive personality and it doesn't give feedback, it's very hard to get a feel for. It went pretty well and now we'll just have to see what happens in qualifying tomorrow. It gave us the perfect opportunity to look back at his F1 adventure and its premature end. I was in a car which worked well last year, but it was one I didn't have a feel for and nothing happened for that to be sorted out. The team wasn't in charge of development, it's as simple as that. This year the car was nowhere near as good and I was just as ill at ease in it because essentially the same technical decisions had been made. I had a lot of trouble, it was a real mess actually. I wasn't enjoying it, the way it ended was regrettable too. There was no need for it to finish the way it did. It could have been done in a more elegant way, but elegance and F1 don't always go hand in hand and that's very disappointing. Unlikely then that we'll see Sebastian in an F1 car again, even if like his manager Nicolas Tot, he refuses to close the door on a return next season. Yeah, Nicolas is on the lookout for possible drives for me. I've not ruled out a return. We'll have to see how it goes, but it will be difficult to get a spot. And the new teams, well, they're all on the lookout for money because at the start there was a budget cap, but that's no longer the case. From my point of view, I'm open to offers, and I'm also looking in the United States. Peugeot would be the most logical choice, and in a sense the most likely place for me to end up. But because the racing program is relatively light, in terms of races, the goal is also to find something else to do as well, so as to try to stay up to speed. After that, it's all a question of opportunities and racing programs. If the Super League takes off, well, that could be interesting for me. There are plenty of irons in the fire. I'm just waiting for something concrete.